Welcome everybody to another webinar, Guama webinars, and today we're going to be speaking about how companies can use gamification as marketing strategy. So many of you maybe are wondering today, how can I optimize my, my marketing strategy? I'm doing ads, I'm doing social media, I'm doing everything, but this gamification is the new strategy for marketers. So for that, I have here Priya, which is a growth head in Goama in all the Asia region. So she's going to be here speaking about business cases in that region that have been working with gamification through Goama platform and um, it's going to bring a lot of knowledge that she has right now. Hi Priya, how, how are you doing today? Very well, David. How are you? All good. Perfect in this in this in this side of the world. I'm from <laughs> in Atlanta. She's in India right now, and you know, like Guama is in more than 24 countries. So, uh, Priya, should we get into right into it, right? Yes, for sure. So, David, um, you know, before I get into you know what Guama does and you know how how and what we are. Um, you come from the marketing aspect of things right so you understand that in today's digital world every brand out there is struggling for user attention acquisition you know user retention you know bringing that kind of hook onto their brand is something that a lot of brands struggle with and with a lot of mainstream marketing that really goes on we've noticed that unless and until you don't have something extraordinary special you know unique it is very difficult to hook on and grab their attention and brands struggle with creating an impact right a lot of brands when you do traditional marketing unless and until it's a very spectacular impressive ad or a campaign it takes some time for them also to relate to the brand right which is very important when you come uh, when you are a brand you want people to remember you you want to do something different from what everybody is doing because everybody is competing right so when when we talk about this now what really happens in this aspect is guama here is empowering apps apps or portals for a matter of fact to drive this usage and the transaction with something like a casual gamified engagement right now what we doing here is we lending a hand to brands which can increase their user engagement they can make it more interactive uh, experience for these brands and all of this is done with just as simple as a plug and play solution now making that as our value proposition here we have grown in about 24 or more countries in less than about a year now we as guama are here to deliver this value from the gaming experience to from players to partners as well while i say that we also are driven by a whole passionate motivated team that really wants to do a difference in the world with gaming now you could actually move from your traditional marketing approach and turn gamification into a marketing strategy and when i say that the minute you start playing a game and you're related to a brand people are going to remember you a lot more easier a lot more faster and a lot more longer than any average uh traditional marketing techniques that we use mm -hmm. Right. Um, these are a couple of brands we have that we've been working with on uh, different industries from online media, food, transportation, digital uh, uh, e-wallet platforms and all of that. Now, if I talk about what we do in Asia, a couple of clients that we have in Asia, we work with Gcash, we work with Dana, we work with uh, Bcash in Bangladesh, we work with Crickbuzz in India, right? Uh, we work with uh, Gcash is in Philippines. So we've almost everywhere. <laughs> Basically, what we're going to be uh, seeing today is how Guama uh, is providing a powerful gamification platform to do four things. The first one is that you can customize more than 12, 12, 12, 200 
uh, games. That means that you can uh, choose from a wide range of uh, different uh, genres of games, you know, hyper casual games to uh, be uh, customizable in different in different levels. Uh, we're going to be on top of that. Later, we're going to be speaking about gamification system, you know, all the engagement system uh, that that's going to work as the gamification features, uh, basically giving rewards and all the performing actions for the users. The third part is going to be the easy to integrate platform, you know, like our platform is easy to integrate in any app, web or just create an, a, a microsite. Then the fourth is going to be about the growth hacking team because Goama is not only providing the technology, it's also, also providing the team that's going to make the, K, uh, you know, reaching the KPIs. So that's basically what we're going to be, uh, you know, addressing today. And uh, Sepria is going to be on top of, you know, like the, the next slide, which is customizable games. When I talk about customization, David, every brand would like their brand and their ideas to be highlighted, right? There, there are a lot of creative people that we have seen that work with different organizations and different brands. And everybody wants to create their unique experience for sure, right? Now, what we do with this, and I like to say it this way, that you think and we do it, right? It's, I think it's, it's the easiest way that I could put this across. Tomorrow, and we've seen this over a period of time with Guama, any brand that has come down told us that, hey, you know, we were thinking of this, we wanted a game like this, can you do it? We've done it. Now, for example, if you see on the slide, the panda sling that you see here is basically what we had done for WWF. And they had come down and they said, hey, can you think of something that we could include and, you know, keep the authenticity, keep the core idea and um, you know our our expertise of what we do and why we want to do it as the core and create a game around it and there you go you can see this now if you move on to a couple of if you move on to the next slide you'll see that for every brand out there we have customized the game just as how somebody had asked us to do it for coke now I'm I'm sure like you know this this game is as is a very simple game. All you have to do is be able to move your coke can from one level to another. Right? It's as simple as that. Now the other one that you see here is for sneakers that we did, which was play the game, hit the ball, and you go for it. Right? And you score games. Um, you you score points, you, you score in your games, you do a lot better than others. So it's all about think of it and we do it for you. And right. another, yeah, and that's uh, that, another thing that, that I want to add here is that you can, you know, like you can modify uh, either the product yeah. or, you know, the, the avatar or the dummy of the game, but also place the logo and all the layout thing is also uh, something that you can customize with more than 200 games right yes definitely now if you see here when we did something for coke we literally customized the back cover we made sure that you know the game looks authentic and matches the brand's color theme it's not about us it's about the brand we care a lot more about the brand here than about ourselves right uh we would match exactly in terms of what the brand color themes are what what is the language that they want to follow and the best of all you want your loader to also look like an image connected to your brand we can do that as well so there's no standard uh uh you know idea that hey with this is how your logo will be and this is how your you know background will be no if you want your brand's color theme and your brand to be highlighted and look like it's a part of your app that's exactly what we expertise in exactly and there's something important is just uh not only about the game because we can customize the game right but the game has yeah. to live in a platform which we call the tournament platform and that platform will contain all the games so that platform has to look like your brand because it's going to live in your website or into your app and it has to match your your brand uh, guidelines, right? So we yeah. can do all this, you know, like our, our, our platform is made for that, you know, to be customizable 
for our partners. And you know, those are the different levels of, of customization that we have for games and for the platform itself. Now, when people start playing the game, there has to be something in store for them as well. As a player, if I'm playing a game, I would look forward to what is the reward or what is the prize that I get while playing this game. One, of course, is a feel-good factor. The minute you start playing a game, you start doing well, there is an immense amount of dopamine rush that you have right now how do we do this and how do we uh, help in the dopamine rush that i'm talking about is one is the reward section that we have each game that is played we help our users in earning certain coins earning certain coupons for you know whatever the brand would like to set it up as we can really do that now it's all about telling the user hey go ahead play the game and once you do that you get a coupon or you collect certain number of points exactly and there's something important that we discover over the years is that you know like the game the game by itself is not gonna uh, perform the engagement because people play the game and it's okay they can play games right now whatever they want you know like for free but the most important thing here is the gamification system which is the reward and the prices why are they they're going to be playing the games because the brands are going to provide a price prices and rewards that they can redeem later for discounts products uh whatever uh the strategy is right now yeah. Yeah. so the features about the uh, in the in the gamification uh, system are those four are the main ones but we have way more that we can discuss later. If you're interested right now in having more information about this, in this webinar, you can find out uh, a link down this video to uh, make a call with, with Sai Priya, and then you can, you can uh, have a meeting. You can schedule a meeting with Priya, and she's gonna be explaining the details to you. And if you're interested in getting a new uh, marketing strategy using gamification, Sai Priya is gonna help you directly to to get that straight out so uh don't be afraid just go ahead there schedule a meeting you're going to be speaking about all these details sorry uh so priya so why don't you tell us a little more about this uh, main features of the gamification system now this is one of the examples that we have in terms of how we create that buzz and how we invite people to uh come and play right and like they say the old traditional method of marketing which is your word um, word to mouth right uh, mouth to mouth marketing is nothing but the best that you can always have for any brand as a matter of fact and in a way if you're turning that through gamification and games what guama does you're bang on right um in at, at the same time you know if brands would like to uh you know launch a new product they want to run a survey uh they want to see how is it that people would react to a certain thing so we give you a place within the platform on our gamification setup that hey you can do that as well right now um say in case that you know you want to see after playing certain games you want to definitely see where you stand amongst the others right and we as humans are very competitive right we at any point if we are just if i'm lagging behind on the second position with just five or ten points from the person who's sitting on top i am prone to going back and playing again now that again is creating an impact so you're basically hooking on to your user's attention and making sure that they come back in this way we have a lot more other things that we do um, where we try and grab and sustain the user attention to a larger extent and i will talk a little more in detail in terms of the uh, average session time that we worked on and how brands we have helped but yes <clears throat> these are a few of the, the main few features that we have but definitely we do a lot more than these things yeah 
Yeah. So basically, uh, I want to give you, uh, you know, like I want to give you um, a, a quick, uh, you know, like a quick review of these four features. The, the first one is a leaderboard where people that, uh, that, that are playing the games, you know, and are collecting the, the coins or the tickets or, you know, like the points uh, are going to be there. And they're competing in a daily, weekly and monthly basis to get the, the different prizes that the brands or the company are willing to give the regarding of the you know the, the of the strategy the second one is the post game call to action we have different call to action action or banners that the company can use to drive the traffic to different other different campaigns right if you're promoting a new product or a new service you can place place it there it's going to be very good because many users are getting to that uh, post game call to action page and uh, another interesting is the player versus player, which is uh, um, uh, a mode of game, you know, a game mode that you can use to compete with somebody, you know, or a random person live. That's pretty interesting. And uh, um, that's we, we, we have found that this is one of the main features that, that are engaging people every day to play uh, versus another player. And uh, the social sharing is, you know, like this is uh, very good because, you know, like, this is user acquisition almost for free, you know, a very low cost of user acquisition when somebody is uh, inviting others to play in the platform. So this is something that I just wanted to uh, address in this one. And we have many other features like daily visits, rewards. Uh, we have, uh, um, you know, uh, mini games uh, to, to, to increase that, that, those interactions and many other, you know, many other that we can, we can disclose in a meeting if you're interested uh, later you can schedule a meeting with Cyprian. Now they were you were ask me how is it this how is something like games benefiting a brand which is always a question you know when when a brand signs up they everybody for a matter of fact wants to do that hey what is it that you could do for me first and foremost is brand awareness right now when I talk about brand awareness like I said, you know, it's about creating a unique and a emotional connection with your users and games tend to do that. A lot of games are built in such a way that they emotionally connect with people. They bring out uh, the best version of themselves. There is a feel good factor that you're putting in there, right? And when and you're bonding people together. Now, when you do this, and if if you're doing that with a brand in mind and you're launching it you are automatically creating that effect in the minds of people to remember that hey i remember and and that's going to stay in your mind a lot longer than even expected right you would I, and this is what helps brands being in the minds of people creating that awareness creating a different connection altogether creating that unique experience in the minds of the users is what brands always look for and that's exactly what gamification can really do conversion right. you know like conversion is very interesting here because uh basically what we're looking so many many companies you know regarding of their strategy right you're looking for brand awareness or conversion you know the conversion rates uh, are crazy in the gamification industry because people is getting every day every day to get, go and play the games and then you know like the, we, we figure out that the best strategy is to launch two or three to the two to four new tournaments a week to you're giving new content and new strategy new 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 ways to get you know win the rewards or the prizes to the to those users and you know like the redemption center is making conversion rates pretty crazy depending on the industry right so this is something that you want to do. You know, like if you want to increase your uh, your conversion rates, you need to use these gamification strategies with the games uh, to promote new products. When you're launching a new product, for example, for Coke, it's going to be uh, really, really, really uh, uh, effective in terms of conversion uh, conversion rates. It will be uh, very interesting. So. Uh, can we give another example for uh, that that we have in Asia? I don't know Alipay or Gcash or Dana. Any any other uh, example that we can uh, give here for conversions? 
So um, I would like to actually mention Gcash here. Gcash when they came on uh, came to us, uh, the uh, they did have a lot of users on the platform for sale, right? It's one of the biggest e wallets that you see there. However, they were struggling to understand, hey, how is it that we can make transactions from these people? How is it that we can see the more time a user spends on the app is a benefit for you and me, right? It's a benefit for a brand at the end of the day. Today, what we see and, you know, and something that I have also, you know, quite noticed is that it's not just about uh, how long somebody spends on the app but it's about how you create an impact. Now, when I say that, we had a lot of branded sponsored games that we had done with Gcash when they came on board and we suggested a couple of options for them. And let me tell you, we were sold out with our branded campaigns within the first three months itself, right? Another source of revenue stream that we see here is about how you can ask your users to pay a bare minimum while they start the tournament literally bare minimum and you can get an extra source of revenue here as well right the amount of users today on gcash is sitting at about 30 million and that's a huge number that's huge yeah totally right so definitely an increase definitely okay what about data collection is it is it is it working for data collection new user user acquisition huge data how it works today it's all about the numbers right every every ad out there or every campaign out there people would look into the numbers and understand how is the audience really taking it how is the audience accepting this information what is the user behavior when we talk about all that data plays a major role everything's about numbers today at the end of you know any campaign any ad that you run with the help of this you are able to judge how people are really taking your suggestion how people are reacting to the brand out just launched or an ad that is just out there right what we do for you is we actually help you in collecting this information of who's utilizing uh, or who's coming on the board or who's coming on board who's playing the games right now we transform this data into strategic uh, you know ways of how you can benefit and increase your conversions make a bigger impact and how you can mold things around and how you could grow your user attention or your session times and all of that right it's all about today when i say i love i i love how we use data and we help brands to see what the reality really is when you launch anything into the market you definitely want to know what your user reacts to it and that we do with the help of data and there's uh I think there's two ways that we can, you know, like uh, to to collect that data. The first one is that when you do, uh, when you integrate our tournament platform into your app or web, you can connect directly with the user profile, right? So we're gonna yeah. be, uh, we know who is, you know, like who's getting into our platform from your users. And then when you do a microsite or a standalone, which we call it, you know, it's a, it's a microsite with our games. Uh, every player that gets into the traffic and, and, and start playing needs to sign up, right? So we're gonna hold that data, obviously, with all, all the you know like all the terms and, and conditions that we have for the privacy and the, and the policy privacy that, that we have to respect their that, uh, you know their information. But definitely, this is a very good uh, way to get leads or users for your different campaigns. So this is very important, right? So the placement. This is the the, 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 the best uh, you know. Like, this is the best way to, uh, to to understand how can you use Goama's platform, right? And we have two different uh, ways to do it. As, as I just told you, is basically the the first one is the integration. How can we integrate this uh, whole platform with the games, 
with the uh, uh, gamification system, with the uh, re uh, redeem, uh, you know, the redeem center, with uh, with the, all the pricing, all this gamification strategy, uh, you can do it in your in a, any app or web, no matter what language you know, like what dev language are you using, and uh, basically uh, there's three main. Uh, things that you need to have in, in, in mind here. The, the first one is the user profile connection that I just told you about. Uh, the second one is that no cloud usage in your side. You know, like we're uh, we're providing all the, the the cloud service. So, you know, like you don't have to, um, you know, you have to uh, increase your, you know, like the, the payment that you have to do to AWS or something like that, or the provider that you have for the, you know, like the, all the, all the data that you're collecting and the live analytics dashboard. So we're providing that for you also, who's connecting, who's dropping in the games, who's uh, doing conversion rate, who's clicking in the call to action. All this data, you can have it on the integration part. And the other one is the tournament microsite that we can provide for you. So if you don't wanna mess around in your company with the tech team and doing integration and all this, you can pro we can provide a, a, a uh, microsite a standalone that we um, customize with your brand and basically you can uh, run any campaign to bring the traffic there and acquire new users and collect this data uh, that we're speaking about no integration needed and it's very interesting to create new audiences growth hacking experiments and brand activation strategies so basically yeah. Those are the two ways that you can do uh, the placement of this tournament into your platforms. You want to add something here? Yes. So one question that I get a lot of times, David, is that uh, while you integrate, is it a heavy uh, integration? <clears throat> but we have the most lightweight integration mechanism that we use like i said earlier it's just as simple as a plug and play service that we do now along with this we also have a security mechanism which will protect from the games from being tampered completely one of another most common and a query that is in the minds of a lot of people when i talk to them is that hey if we integrate with you guys uh, is it going to take you to a different platform and you know a different landing page and make it look like you know it's two different entities altogether no what we do here is we gel into completely what your app is and we look like we are a part of you so it is an in-app uh, integration that we do that looks like you are hosting it and we're just there and it, it's just completely on the partner app itself it does not look anything well that's obviously a fear right you don't want to lose your user from one and then from one portal and then move him to a different one yeah, so it's it's just our integration is that simple yeah totally it, it won't feel like that you know like it feels like part of the or of the app or the website that's the main that's the main thing right I don't want to lose the, the traffic. So yeah, the standalone is different from that. It's not the integration, it's basically a new site that we provide. In this case, uh, we're going to speak about sneakers. We made a, a huge campaign in Latam, different countries where we created, you know, that's this standalone uh, platforms where uh, sneakers drive the traffic there. We, uh, we get the audience and they give different kind of prices uh, that many pe me millions of people uh, get to play and and you know like get the the, the, the coins and, and redeem the for for the prices so this is really 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 uh, good for brand activation brand awareness but also for conversion rates you know like to uh, create new revenue streams for your company so this is uh, very interesting and jumping uh, from the sneakers uh, we have we, we want to uh, give you a couple uh, different uh, business cases with some numbers uh, that the brand allow us to, to share with you guys. And this is uh, very interesting. Um, uh, you may not know about Rappi, but Rappi is like the food panda of La Latin America. 18 countries, millions of users, and they're delivering uh, food from restaurants and uh, 
retails, everything. And they do, uh, uh, they did uh, with sneakers, they created a new uh, strategy where uh, the tournament platform that, that was uh, seated in um, Rocky's app, uh, where, you know, like sneakers launched a new game, a new set of games inside Rapids platform. And in just four weeks, they got 3 million gameplays, 12 million impressions, and 1.6 million minutes played. So this is, it was, it was just a, a four weeks campaign. It was, you know, re really, really good, you know, performance with those numbers. So this is just an example that we're giving you from Rappi and Sneakers in LATAM. Also Sneakers. Can you you wanna you wanna give the, the numbers of sneakers, Priya? For sneakers, the standalone that you were just talking about, David, we uh, they came to us and they wanted to run this for about six weeks. Now their targets were, you know, being able to launch the new product that they had into the market and they wanted to do something different. Now, while they did this, the MAUs rose up so well, literally 3x of what they were thinking of, right? We had 1.3 million gameplays and their average gameplay time was actually 14 minutes. And that's, that's very difficult. And that's, that's a big number. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think many, many uh, companies, uh, you know, like an average, uh, you know, like user, you know, uh, playing or staying or navigating 14 minutes. Yeah. That's a lot, yeah. right? You yeah. get that from, I don't know, like newspapers or something like that. that people ke keep reading a lot. But for gameplay, you can write your, you know, like your average uh, gameplay or navigation time to 14, 15. I've seen in, in 20, 21 minutes in some companies in Goma. Yeah. So that's pretty, pretty interesting. Also PepsiCo. PepsiCo, uh, we have this app integration, the main app uh, for PepsiCo. And, uh, you know, from July 2021, uh, we've been growing 130% plus month over month on user acquisition and growth. That's huge. You know, that's pretty interesting. That's really engaging for, for them. 60% uh, 60, 60 of visitors are, are playing the games. That means every, every 60 uh, users, uh, from, from every 100 users, 60 get to play and stick to the tournament platform. In more than 13 minutes in average, in average uh, for session uh, length, right? So this is our really good numbers that we're having for our, our partners. Gcash uh, in Asia is pretty interesting, right, Priya? Definitely. Now, Gcash is one example that we have in the e-wallet section. We work with a lot of other e-wallet sections in Asia as well, right? Now, with Gcash, what we've done, like I was just saying some time back, right? When we started off, they were struggling off with the user retention, you know, transactions and how is it that you could uh, make sure that the user stays on the app a little longer than do, just doing your basic transactions and exiting from the platform. When we integrated with Gcash, we started uh, doing a lot of branded sponsored games. And with this, we have seen at least about uh, an MAU of 86,000 and more with, uh, and that's growing, right? It, it started off with these numbers and it just keeps growing every day, every week and every month and every quarter on quarter, right? Now, while I say that, with Gcash, what we've also done is we have a lot of uh, tournaments that we run and when we experiment with a lot of tournaments, we figure our other idea that we do is a paid tournament aspect of it that we do where we ask the user for a bare minimum entry fee and they can compete and win one exclusive big uh, grand prize as well. Now with this, we're actually generating an extra revenue stream for a brand completely. That's just one idea or, you know, part of what we do with Gcash. But similarly, we have a lot of other e-wallets. Now, e-wallet and gaming you know, sounds how, right? Because it's not something usually financial firms or financial companies would think about gaming as a matter of fact. But 
games can be fitted anywhere and make a benefit for anybody in any organization it does not matter what brand what size of the brand um which industry it does not matter because games have a tendency to connect with people that way to make that kind of impact with on the users and gobal is here to help you so this is this is the banner that you have to click below the video you will find it in this in this webinar uh, page and that's basically what we wanted to share with you definitely it's always my pleasure devin uh, always here let me know i mean i'm waiting to hear from brands reaching out now and um, be there to help them and help them achieve their kpis thank you very much everyone and i'll see you in the next Guama webinar.